obvious is an understatement, but it, the pandemic certainly wasn't normal. The government's directives during the COVID-19 pandemic go before the state's top court. At issue is a dispute between some big Utah companies, mall operators, and the state tax commission. But as Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow explains, it could affect much more than that. Okay, let's let's jump into it. The Utah Supreme Court heard arguments in a lawsuit brought by a number of companies over COVID-19. Specifically whether the COVID-19 pandemic qualifies as an access interruption under the plain language of the U of Utah code. The Larry H. Miller Company, which operates the Megaplex Theater chain and the Delta Center, the Grand and Little America Hotels, Kohl's department stores, and the operators of places like Thanksgiving Point and malls across Utah are taking counties and the state tax commission to court. They argue the COVID-19 pandemic disrupted their businesses so much they should get a tax break. I don't know that we need to decide, for example, is COVID-19 an access interruption? I think the question is whether it's a circumstance under the statute. But the justice has questioned if a pandemic qualifies under Utah law to give them tax relief. It's not explicit in statute. Governor Herbert said that you couldn't gather in large gatherings. You couldn't go to places of, in, uh, of entertainment. You couldn't have travel other than emergency travel. What do you do with the tax commission's argument that under your theory, uh, an economic downturn might qualify as access interruption? So I, I think the, the slippery slope arguments are, are uh, you know, the argument there is that's a policy argument. COVID-19 doesn't qualify as an access interruption event. Lawyers for counties in the state argued that businesses weren't shut down. Help me understand why a health order that, that would you know, arguably prevent access to or from a, a business, is that different from road construction or a traffic diversion or vandalism? Those aren't government orders to shut down a particular business. The governor's directives, are those recommendations or? I that they're just guidelines. Okay. There were no sanctions in place if people didn't follow these. I think everybody has a clear recollection of a kind of what happened during the pandemic, and, and these were just guidelines to help slow the spread of COVID. The justices took the case under advisement, but it's important to point out that what the court decides can set precedent, and their decision could impact a lot of other businesses around the state. At the Matheson Courthouse, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.